Hi everyone. Today we're going to be installing steel mesh onto a clip lock style roof using a screw based install. Now this installation method doesn't use any uh, saddles or special flashings on the roof side. So it's a really flexible way to install mesh. It might be that you've got a clip lock roof which, or a clip lock style roof which is of a different dimension to what our saddles fit because there's quite a large variety. You might also have a bespoke sort of flat roof sheet uh, which we're installing to where we don't have a particular fitting for it. So this is a really multi-purpose installation which just uses screws. What you're going to need, obviously a mesh kit, you're going to need a drill, nut setter and a pair of tin snips. So let's have a look and we'll show you how to do it. Firstly, we're going to unroll the roll of mesh so we've got a nice flat section of mesh to work with. Then we're going to start on the gutter side, we're going to put the trims on, we're going to put the first screw in and then we're going to come through and put the last screw in on that trim before putting the other two in the central positions. And then just come through, butt the next gutter trim up to the first one and then just repeat the process. You don't need to overlap them, just butt them all up next to each other and then repeat that for the run of roof. Next, we're going to trim a section of mesh here from the top. We only want, let's say about 80 millimetres overhanging uh, the roof, edge of the roof sheet here, because we're going to be putting some screws in the pan, so we want those screws to be overhanging the gutter. Next, we're going to cut these two slots in the mesh. Now line them up with the base of the roof profile, or the roof rib, should I say, and you can see how deep we're cutting them here. Next, we're able to push the wide sections of mesh into the pan, and you can see how that little notch is covering the end caps of each of the uh, raised rib sections of the roof. You can see there, gonna, we're gonna get really good coverage over those end caps, which is especially important if you're installing in a bushfire zone and if you're putting two millimeter mesh on. You can see here the screws that we're putting into the pan in the corners of the mesh. And this is why I mentioned before that it's so important to make sure that those screws are overhanging the gutter because that's not typically what you do if you're installing a roof sheet. Best practice is put them in the top. But in this instance, we are gonna put them in the pan, but because we're overhanging, it's pretty safe. The next thing, we're just going to tack a screw on either side of that rib to hold that mesh down into position. So there's a tiny bit of uh, cutting, a little bit of screwing involved for this style of installation, but it does give you a really neat install. And if you've got a profile where we don't have a saddle suitable, uh, this is sort of your go-to installation to get the job done. You can see here what the installation looks like when it's finished. It's super neat. No leaves, no debris getting into that gutter. And that's how to do a screw based install on a, on a clip lock roof, but really any, any roof or any flat pan roof, you can do this method.